If you're a Milan fan today, guys, you cannot be happy. You cannot be happy. You dropped two points. You were up two nothing after the first half against Napoli in probably the best 45 minutes of this season. The first for the first half, guys, was tremendous for Milan. The second half, the first 20 minutes of that second half, Napoli comes back strong, scores two goals, two nice goals, two guys, and it ends 2-2. Uh, game starts right away with Giroud with a great occasion. He could have scored a goal, gets deflected by the defenseman. Then Napoli gains control of the game for about 10 minutes where they apply pressure. They pin Milan down, but then Milan wakes up again. They start moving the ball around. They start creating plays, opening up the spaces. Uh, Giroud scores two beautiful goals, two headers. Uh, the first one, he's like in between the two defensemen. He loses both defensemen uh, after a beautiful uh, Pulisic pass. And on the second one, he's tossing around with uh, Ramani on the cross from Calabria, heads it into the net. Uh, Milan could have scored a third one in that first half. They don't, which at the end is the crucial point of why Napoli comes back into this game. And the second half starts. I didn't understand why uh, he takes out Pulisic and puts in Romero. Probably was injured. I don't have the details of it, uh, but it, on that right hand side, it was missing something. And Napoli starts off that second half with fire under their asses. I gotta be honest, they were all over the place. They were creating chances all over, pinning Milan down. They couldn't make one good pass. And Politano scores a beautiful goal. First of all, he does the sombrero on Pellegrino. Pellegrino coming in for Calou, who got injured. Then he beats Teo, and then he blasts it into the net. Uh, Mania couldn't do much. Then Raspadori on a free kick scores the 2-2. Uh, Napoli creating other chances in the half. Milan creating some chances as well. Uh, at the end, Milan could have scored a third after uh, Nathan gets um, sent off a red card. Uh, Calabria all by himself, he hits the side of the net. Um, and then a beautiful save by Mania, I think it was Varacelia at the end end. So both teams could have scored the third goal. It could have went any way, I got to be honest. But after what Milan showed in that first half, you had to bring the result home. Especially after the week you've had, losing against Juve, losing against PSG, all the criticism for Leao, for Pioli, for the attack. Finally, Milan scoring some goals. But Milan's defense this week, guys, gave up six goals. Three against PSG, one against Juve, two today. Uh, wasn't the best. And yes, we have a lot of injuries. Kier is injured. Uh, Tiao was expelled. Pellegrino now comes in. He didn't look good at all, but he also gets injured. And Carlo came in for Kier gets injured as well. Uh, but Pellegrino today, guys, they gave him a chance. They had no other choice, but he suffered the poor kid. That first half, thank God Milan goes up 2 nothing because he did a few mistakes in the back there that ugh, would make any coach sweat for months. Let's be honest. Uh, and then the way he gets beaten by Politano. Politano, guys. Incredible. Uh, but as good as Milan was in the first half, Napoli was just as good in the second half. It ends 2-2. At the end, you might say it's the fair result. But if you're a Milan fan, you have to be disappointed for the points dropped. And if you're a Napoli fan, I guess you're happy because you were able to get a point back. Now, with this result, Milan sitting third, Inter first with 25 points. I think Juve with 23, Milan with 22. Uh, then there's Napoli and Fiorentina has to play against Lazio tomorrow. So we'll see where they end up. But like I said, guys, if you're Milan today, you got to be disappointed with this result. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe.